I have a really hard time believing that February is over. It started like last week. This year is going by way, I'm not gonna say too fast. You can't really go by too fast when we're in the school year stage, but whoa, February. All right, so this is my book haul for February. It's not as large as some other hauls that I've done in the past. Money's kind of tight lately. What am I saying? The first book I read this month was A Million Suns by Beth Revis. This is the sequel to Across the Universe. I did do a review on this, just as I do with any other book. I gave it four stars, just as amazing as the first one, and yeah, I loved it. This series is pretty awesome, and if you don't know already, Beth Revis said that my throat is going to be ripped out in Shades of Earth. That meaning that there is going to be a character with my name that gets their throat ripped out in Shades of Earth, which is the third one. After that, I read Legend by Marie Lu, which is like my favorite ever right now. I don't think a day has gone by after reading this that I have not recommended it to someone. I gave it five stars, and I love it, and I got it signed. I met Marie Lu and got this thing signed. A million Suns is also signed. Just thought I'd rub it in one more time before the month's over. Also this month I uploaded my footage from the Breathless Reads tour. Obviously that's where I got Across the Universe, Legend, and A Million Sons, and Born Wicked signed. I got to meet amazing authors, Marie Lou, Beth Revis, Jessica Spotswood, and Andrea Creamer. They're so nice. Which brings me to the purchased books of February, and the first one is Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood. Honestly, I only got this because in order to get books signed at Breathless, you had to buy one of them. So I decided on Born Wicked between this and Nightshade. I'm not a werewolf person, even though Andrea Creamer is possibly the nicest person you will ever meet. So I got this signed as well. It says, Blessed or Cursed, You Decide, Jessica Spotswood. Also, I went to Target and I saw this and I could not resist getting The Hunger Pains, I know, by the Harvard Lampoon. Believe it or not, this is a parody of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I'm kidding. It's a parody of The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. If you put them next to each other, it's actually hilarious. It's dead. Uh. So I really like parodies. Have you seen The Hunger Games movie trailer parody? I died. That is the best parody I've ever seen. So I'm hoping this will also be good. In this, her name is Can't Kiss Never Clean. And apparently it makes Abraham Lincoln wish he had never been shot. So obviously, you know, page turner right there. Speaking of the Hunger Games, I do have my advance tickets. I wish I could like hold them up and show you all, but I can't because it would like give away my location. But I went there and I bought like six tickets. No, I didn't buy that. Uh, yeah, I bought like four tickets. So I'm going to sell them to my friends and we are going to be first in line and we are going to eat tacos and we are going to watch The Hunger Games. Yeah. So I know on both ends it was kind of lame. I only read two books and I only bought two books. Like I said, money's a little tight, but I went to Barnes & Noble today and I got this bad boy and I put $85 on it. So I'm going to be online tonight getting some stuff. So March will be more eventful. And I've only read two books in each month this year, so that puts me at four, which puts me four books behind on my Goodreads challenge. So this month, I am not letting myself do that again. I kind of have a head start, so I have six books that I'm going to read this month. Well, next month, I guess. March. First one is Delirium by Lauren Oliver. The sequel, Pandemonium, came out yesterday but I've had it since January and I thought I was gonna like read Delirium and then read this and review it like the day it came out but Delirium did not did not motivate me to do that so I'm getting through it this month that's a promise and this is 441 pages so it's kinda big but I'm a little bit through it kinda pushing through it right now, but I'll get into that in my review. So Delirium by Lauren Oliver is going to be my first book of the month. And I don't think I will be reading Pandemonium. And if I do, I'll actually get a hardcover because ARCs have typos and 
some stuff gets cut out of them, and I just kind of want the final version if it's already out. Like, there's no point in reading an arc if the book's out. But not anytime soon. After that, I'm going to be reading Speak by Lori House Anderson. This is a shorter, lighter read. I've also started this because I kind of got bored during Delirium. It's 198 pages, so it shouldn't take me long at all. I've been interested in reading this for a really long time. I got it in October, I think. I just never really got around to it, but what else is new? And then, as I said a few videos back, and like in my first video, I'm not sure if you even remember, but I said I was putting off part of the Gone series until Fear came out, which is the next one. Just scratch my nose on camera. Professional. So after Speak, I'm going to read Plague by Michael Grant. 492 pages, so it's a little longer, but I'm sure it won't take long because the first three were amazing, and I heard this one is like... So then I'm going to go ahead and proceed with Fear also by Michael Grant. This is the fifth book in the Gone series, it's an advanced copy. This doesn't come out until April 3rd, which is when my review will be up. So I'll do like some other videos that week. I have a bunch that I've wanted to do, some tags, shoutouts, <sighs> other stuff. I'm really looking forward to the conclusion of this series, not because I want it to end, but because I want it to... I want to find out what happens to these people. Which brings me to The Hunger Pains by The Harvard Lampoon. This is the parody of The Hunger Games, as I said earlier. I plan on kind of reading this in line when I'm at the movie premiere, but that probably won't happen, so I'll just read it before. Yeah, that's what I'll do. It's 157 pages, so it won't take me long at all. I'll probably fly through this in a day because it's just going to be awesome and hilarious. Then if possible, Looking for Alaska by John Green. I will make it possible, but I don't really want to promise it. As you guys know, I read The Fault in Our Stars back in January and I loved it, so I'm going to read John Green's stuff in order now. So I'm going to start with Looking for Alaska, and it's not very long. 221 pages. Not sure why I've been announcing page numbers in this video. I'll stop. But I'll definitely try to get through this one. We'll, I'll, we'll see how it goes, but if I've calculated it, if I can do it, I'll get through this one. So I'm kind of behind on my Goodreads challenge, and it's uh, not good. So what else happened in February? I did my series discussion on Percy Jackson and the Olympians slash Heroes of Olympus. It was 20 minutes long, so I'm not sure a whole lot of you even watched it. But if you did, I hope you liked it. Cass J. Tuck had her one year anniversary on YouTube this month, February 9th. So that's pretty awesome. This month was the release of Private Games by James Patterson, if anyone cares. Also Lone Wolf by Jody Pico, Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver, and Fugitives by Alexander Gordon Smith, which is the fourth book in the Escape from Furnace series. Just letting you guys know, I'm sure there's a lot more, but those are just the ones that I know of. Miseducation of Cameron Post, heard about that. And for the Maze Runner fans, as you guys know, the prequel Kill Order, the cover. It's going to be released tomorrow, March 1st. I'm sure you all knew that if you like keep up with Twitter and stuff, but I'm really excited for that because those books have awesome covers. I mean, they're not amazing of all covers, but they're pretty cool. So this is going to be the prequel, and it should be cool. Also, I'm really excited about the readables this month. Like, for some reason, I'm just really excited. Have you seen her haul? March will be awesome. And it will also be awesome on this channel. So, subscribe if you haven't. This is the point where I get awkward and I say stuff that is irrelevant because I need to end the video. So I'll see you guys later with my reviews of Delirium, and then Speak, and other stuff, and just awesomeness. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys later this week, or over the weekend. Who knows? Okay, bye.